Hello traders, welcome to a new video on order flow trading. Today's video topic is going to be ATAS crypto. This stands for Advanced Time and Sales Cryptocurrency. This platform, I every time that I that I search for new platforms, I search for new tools, I'm repeatedly blown away by just how much is out there for free. I mean, and this platform really takes the cake. Um, I love MDR. I, I love tensor charts. I love a lot of these tools. I love looking at the BAS. I love looking at order flow, sentiment, price action, volume, you know, all these things. But I've never seen a tool, a platform, this sophisticated as ATAS crypto. So without further ado, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a little trip down footprint and uh, time and sales lane. I'm trying to make that uh, work. That sentence didn't really work. Um, is that going to be in the bloopers? No, probably not. I'll just continue this one. <laughs> We're basically going to be looking at the underside of the market, the belly of the market, the part of the market that you don't typically see. Now, this kind of tool is kind of like uh, Sierra charts. It's kind of like uh, book map. It's kind of like those kinds of charting platforms. But I've found that this platform is far beyond and far better than any of those platforms. Uh, a quick analysis of what this is. This is an order flow platform that is available for free until its product launch, uh, and its product launch will be uh, in the future. Until then, it's in beta and completely free. It supports all major cryptocurrencies, and not only that, it lets you trade all major cryptocurrencies on its native platform. So if you click the link in the description below, you can download this and start using it just like I am. Additionally, before we do a deep dive into the beauty and the complexity and the awesomeness of looking at this kind of information, uh, I will be doing a Sunday live stream. So I wanted to do this because when I first uh, introduced this tool to a few traders, many of them were, were thought that this was very complicated and something that would really need to be explained in more depth. And I can't really do that in a YouTube video. So if you're interested, you can join me in the Sunday live stream. Uh, and to do that, all you have to do is just get the price action and volume guide, which also gets you access to previous private live streams of mine and also the Gravity community on Discord. So if you're interested in learning more about this and want to pick up some more information on Sunday, uh, the live stream will be at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday. All right, let's take a look at ATAS Crypto. This is what you're going to see when you first uh, download ATAS Crypto. Now, let's just first go over the features of what this offers and not get into the bare bones and you know the strategy and all, all the fun of that. I'm just gonna give you guys just the basics of how to use this. So the first thing that we can look at is the chart. Just a simple chart, right? Nope, it is not just a simple chart. What this offers is live order depth, right there live volume profile, and many, 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 many more options. You know, there are indicators, so many different kinds of cool indicators, bid ask indicators, uh, you know, big trades, DOM levels. We can look at uh, one of my favorite indicators, the unfinished auction, you can look at that. Uh, that is a really good, really, really, really powerful order depth indicator, a stacked imbalance that looks at when uh, a market buy overpowers many uh, offers or when a market sell overpower overpowers many offers. And I'm just gonna throw those on there, here. And uh, I will explain a lot of these more in Sunday. I know this is like, this is gonna be a bit overwhelming for a YouTube video and that is completely normal, guys. Um, the only reason, the reason I'm showing this is to introduce the platform and also just to show you the basic functionality of how this works without diving into the deep strategy and actually, you know, making money off of this. With live trading. So you can see this is the DOM, the depth of market, and these are some um, auction levels and you know we'll, we'll get into that later. But that's, that is just the very basics. There's way more features that I did not talk about, of course, you know. One of the coolest features, I'll show this before we move on just because it's, it's pretty darn cool. Um, cluster charts. So this is separating each, uh, each one minute candlestick, because I have this set to the one minute chart, as you can see, right? This is separating each one minute candlestick by volume. And I can zoom out by doing that. And I, I, can, I can change this to be something like a, a bit ask digital histogram. And I can also change this. I like it when it's uh, delta colored like this. And I can see the amount of selling pressure, that the buys were dominant here, then the sells were dominant, dominant, 
sells were dominant, you know, buys were dominant, then the sell sellers began to dominate, and then the buyers began to dominate, and now the sellers are back in control. It's just, it's, it's so cool. You can do so many things with this. I mean, there's just, this is the kind of platform I have to say, this is not gonna be a, me, a video of me telling you what to do. This is not gonna be a, uh, a video of me saying, hey, there's this tool, this is what I've found, this is what you should do, go make money. This is a platform that you have to be creative with. You have to create your own kind of indicators and analysis and find ways to exploit patterns in the market. Now, let's go back to the main page and let's just continue on because I'm trying to keep this video under 15 minutes. You know, that's gonna be really tough because there's a lot in this beauty of a, of a platform. Um, we also have Smart Tape, All Prices, and Smart DOM. Let's just do a, a quick dive down all prices. So let's look at, uh, let's look at FUSD for all prices. And let's go full screen and just take a quick look. I know this is gonna look a little overwhelming, but let me just break it down and we'll keep it easy, right? Okay, current day volume. These are all the prices that trades were made at. I can see exactly how many people market bought and exactly how many people market sold at every single price on Ethereum. If I wanted to see it for the past week, I would just hit that. And I could do this for any coin. You know, I could do this for BNB BTC. I could do this for, you know, I could do this for really anything. And if I want to see, hey, so where did the most trades take place? Not the most volume, but where did the most trades take place? Uh, they took place at 164.5, so we know a lot of traders probably entered around there or exited. If I want to say, hey, so where was the largest imbalance of market buyers versus market sellers? That occurred, we had a negative 213, 2 million in uh, a plus 1.8. So this means that we had an abundance of market selling on the bid and not much market buying on, on, the, um, on the ask. So the price of 165.25, we had a massive amount of market selling. So I could say, okay, let me go look at this. Where's 165.25? Let me go switch this guy over to Ethereum. And we'll keep on the cluster charts. Or actually, let's make this a little bit simpler and I'll just throw uh, candlestick charts at you guys. Uh, 165.25 had a large amount of selling, which is, was that the level right? 165.25? Yeah. So we know that a large amount of selling has occurred right here, which means in the future this could become partial resistance or major resistance, uh, this level around here. Just because a lot of people had sold there, uh, so a high volume point can become a point of resistance or support. Super simple analysis of just looking at all prices. Of course, there's a gajillion ways you could look at this. We could look at, you know, the highest volume was at 165, uh, and that's probably gonna become resistance as well, and, and so on. That's all trades. Uh, let's go on to my absolute favorite. Of these four, uh, take a guess of which one's my favorite. I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, if you guess correctly, then uh, good job for you. Smart, D smart DOM, uh, smart uh, DOM, the smart depth of market. Let's just take a look at what this, what this shows you. This is the most overwhelming part of this entire platform. Do not be scared if this overwhelms you and you are terrified of this. But do know that this is what prop traders look at. This is what institutional and fund traders uh, and hedge funds, this is what they look at during the day. They look at the, um, the depth of market. Now, I don't want to get into the strategy, but I can just quickly explain what each of these means. You see that number on the far left? That shows me how many bid orders have been placed or pulled. A delta of how many have been placed versus pulled. Placed versus pulled. So if we look at a number of like, uh, if we look at 50, 29.5, I can actually see that more levels were pulled from that area than levels were placed. So we can see that a lot of bids had left that zone. And if I look at, if I look at a, an area where lots of bids were placed, beautiful. Look at 50.35 right there. That price right there, we had 1.6, is that 16 million? No, 1.6 million dollars. 1.65 million contracts have been placed at 50.35. What does that tell me? That tells me that there was a large amount of demand coming into, uh, into 50.35. Now, how many bids are actually still there? That's the number right here. 36,000 contracts are at 50.35. However, historically, 100 and uh, 1.6 million have been placed there. Let's go on. This is how many market sells have occurred at each price. This is how many market buys have occurred at each price. And then this is just the same thing, but for the offers. How many uh, offers have been placed at these levels and how many have been pulled? Uh, so I can see a level such as here at 50.34, which is actually below price. I know that a lot of offers were pulled away from that area. And this is just recent changes in the order depth. 
So when there's a large bid or when there's a large offer pulled or placed, you know, we just saw an order of uh, 10,000 was removed right there. Now an order with order of 4,000 was removed uh, from that bid and you can keep, keep going on and on. So this is the smart DOM and it is something that I think uh, is beautiful, just beautiful to look at. It's really cool uh, to actually visualize. Instead of looking at a chart, you can look at this. And you can see actual supply and demand um, you know, taking place. Like I'm actually seeing a bit of uh, offers being pulled up here in Ethereum. Um, I'm seeing a large amount of order depth on the bid, so price is likely to rise because we have a lot of bidding here, not many offers. And I'm also seeing offers being removed from these levels. So I wouldn't be shocked the next few minutes if price goes above 164. And I just found that out from just looking at this right here. So price is probably going to go up above 164. Now, let's go to, uh, oh, and yeah, that's price right there. Let's see if it does go above 164, if my little short-term prediction was correct. Uh, the final thing is something pretty simple. Um, probably the simplest of these four. Maybe actually um, all, all prices is simpler. But just one more thing that I want to show, and then I'm going to show you guys the uh, another really cool feature that actually lets you trade on this platform. This is just time and sales. So you're looking at, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let's do it this way so you can actually see it. You can see here uh, the time, you can see the price, you know, market sells, uh, we can see the amount of volume, we can see what the bid and the offer were, bid and ask were, and then uh, the average. And yeah, just basically uh, the reading the tape. And if you ever wanna change these settings, you can change whatever you want. You know, open interest, we can get some filters in there, we can get alerts. If we wanna get alerted, hey, when a large market buyer or sell hits the tape, uh, tell me, and if you want to, you know, make your own kind of um, indicator with this, you can, with adding a template. So that is just the basics of how to use, okay, we're going back to that page, I guess. Th that's the basics of how to use the four main tools, but honestly, I think the coolest part of this is over here. You go to settings, and if you go to connections, now, before we go any further, I do have to give a warning with, with what this is. Um, this is a, a product that's in beta. This product is not fully formed yet. And there is a feature that allows you to add API to any exchange. And then it lets you trade OCO style on that exchange on here. So you could add BitMEX, you could add Binance, you could add whatever, Bitfinex, just add in your API keys. And then you can actually begin trading with hotkeys. You can begin trading by just clicking a button and you buy you know, the ask, you buy the bid, uh, yada yada, you see the hotkeys here. Uh, and if you don't want to trade with hotkeys, if you want something a little bit more protected, what, what can you do? Well, that's where we can go to the smart DOM, smart DOM. Uh, it's going to look really weird at the start because I haven't loaded my template. Let me load my DOM template because that is much, much prettier. Um, yeah, so you, and you can also trade exact, like actually on this by just clicking here. Uh, and if you added your API, you just click in it and it goes. And to actually do that, to actually trade on the DOM, um, again, this is in beta mode, so this is at your own risk. Um, but if you want to do that, then you'd click show all elements, uh, and boom, we have it right here. I know it's not like the window's kind of cut off because of my um, screen recorders kind of being weird. I'm like trying to get this thing. You're probably gonna want that to see it. Good till canceled. You can add a strategy in uh, if you want to add a custom strategy for this. Okay, it's just gonna leave me. Come on, comply, please. There we go, perfect. Can you get smaller? Okay, um, let me go full screen to show you this. So I know it's kind of cut off here, but you can buy at market, sell at market, buy the ask, sell the ask, you can OCO, um, and, and you can type in how many contracts you wanna buy by you know clicking up here and just clicking this and you tell it how many contracts you want. If you don't wanna trade on that, another option you do have, if you want to trade live, you can trade right here. Sell limit, buy stop, you know, if, let's say I want to put a buy stop right there, boom, buy stop. And you know, I haven't activated a trading account, so obviously it, it, it's not going to um, place it. But you can place orders directly on here, too, if you activate um, trading mode. Which I think you just have to do, just go to settings, which is top right. You go to trading settings, and uh, here you go. If you want one click mode, you know, if I click that, then you can, you can place trades with just the click of a button. Um, and, and, you know, so on. 
Okay, guys, this is just a brief overview. I, I didn't want this to be strategy, or I know I went into a bit of strategy. Uh, wait, actually, let me end on the Ethereum chart because I did make the prediction that price would be rising above 164. And I kind of want to, kind of want to show that happening because, yep, price rose above 164 because you can just read what this platform is telling you and predict price if you know what to read. But I want to reiterate, guys, that this is not a tool. This is not a tool where it has defined, this is how you do it, this is how you read it, boom. This is a platform that requires skill and creativity. You need skill. You need to be able to understand what these mean. You need to be able to understand and how to place these into a trading system. And then you also need creativity once you understand those tools because there's just so much on here that you really need to find your niche, your, your niche, your niche um, to, to, to trade these markets. Uh, I mean, you can also see, side note, completely tangential side note here, but you can also see the exact volume on every single volume candle there. And if I want to change this to something like, hey, I want to see how many trades occurred today for the current week, boom, all trades. I can see exactly how many trades have popped up. If I want to see, you know, um, where is it? Uh, right here. If I want to see the delta, which is pretty cool, uh, if I want to see the delta of market buy versus market sell volume, boom, it's right here. And it tells me how much of an imbalance there were at each level, um, as you can see. So I know that a lot of people had sold here. We talked about this earlier at about that 165.5, 165.25. Some people bought up here. And you can just read these delta imbalances to, to also, you know, buy and sell. Look at that. Just as I had said 10 minutes ago, the price would rise above 164. I feel like I'm tooting my own horn here, but like... What, what I did, if you go back in the video, and, and right now, go back in the video, go look at the order depth that I was looking at. You could clearly see in that order depth that many offers were being pulled on Ethereum, many bids were being placed on Ethereum, and also we had many large bids uh, propped right below price. And, and that combination led to, led to the price rise. Uh, and you can see that the bids are, pr are still pretty strong here, but we do have some resistance about 165.1, as you can see right there. So this level may become a bit of resistance because I can see it in the order book. Um, many different ways you can do this. I feel like I keep saying that, but um, this is something that you got to just check it out for yourself, honestly. Uh, this is something that takes a lot of time to learn, but once you do learn it, I think that the payoffs are, are immense. Now, if you're interested in learning more and you want to join our community who are delving into these kinds of things and trying to learn more, and if you want to join our fun live stream, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday, just click the link in the description below, get my price action volume guide, you have full access for the rest of your life to that, uh, to that group. With that guys, I wish you the best, happy trading, and this product is still in beta, so do use it as your own discretion, at, at your own discretion, especially if you add in your API with actual trading. Um, but so far, I've been very impressed by this platform, and it, it's, it's gotta be one of the top, probably number one um, platform slash tool I've ever found. Uh, so take that, with, with, you know, do, do what you want with that information. If this overwhelms you, then, you know, you have the option of either just giving up and looking at something else, which is fine. Or if this overwhelms you and you're a, you know, straight shooter who wants to learn more and be challenged, then uh, join us in the live stream, and I'm going to look forward to hearing from you guys. I'll answer your questions there. With that, I wish you guys the best, and uh, happy trading.